Hey campers, it's Far Out Future Week, our final week! Wow, things have certainly gone by really fast. I can't believe it's the last week of Maker Camp already. Yeah, and it's been an awesome camp, so let's go out like a supernova. You know, a supernova is a great analogy for Maker Camp itself. Really? I don't know if I'm seeing the comparison. Well, a supernova is a large gaseous explosion that's incredibly bright, but it dissipates and disappears over a short period of time. Hmm, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to trust you and assume you know a lot about space. Uh, hashtag just space things, hashtag future. <sighs> so lame. Anyways, you're in luck because we have a really awesome inspiration reel about far out future fashion. I have no idea what that's about. I can't wait to see it. Wow, that's the kind of future I want to live in. I really enjoy repurposing things into something new. Definitely. What else do you think is going to be in the future, Burke? Well, I think we will leave Earth, colonize different planets, and then form a ragtag bunch of people who have a Western-themed space pirate adventure. Isn't that the theme to Firefly? Brown coats are forever, Paloma. Anyways, in my future, I'm going to build a whole bunch of robot pets, and then I'm going to make them all collars that have their names on them, which are all oddly specific references to my life that nobody will get. Yes, you should absolutely do that and submit it at the end of the week for our Wearables Wonderland. Well, I guess I have to now. Campers, we want you to come up with awesome projects that might solve a problem in your own vision of the future. Yeah, you're going to need to get a lot of extra gear for that, so you better start making.
campers. I'm so excited to see what you do with today's projects. Now be sure to use some really cool materials and also figure out what kind of feature do you want. Will it be underwater? Will you need gills or flippers? Ooh, or a tooth that shoots through your face. You're already thinking about narwhals again, aren't you? It's not an obsession, it's a fascination. Well, obsessions can be good. I'm just not entirely sold that your obsessions are a good idea. Anyway, what did you make today, Paloma? I made some awesome future fashion. You want to help me bring it out? Sure. Yeah, yeah nice. Awesome. We made the same shoes. I am a robot now. Put <laughs> oil into my cereal. Nice. I've got this super cool cuff so I can look like a robot from the future. That is so cool. But I'm like cyborg-y. Yeah. And, uh, and I, put, I put my phone in here so that you can like interact with it. Look, so there's like, you can see like the world that I'm going to dominate now, that I'm a super awesome scientist slash robot cyborg. Robot cyborg. It looks like you got some uh, lights there. Yeah, I put some LEDs on it. Ah. And you could even like use some of the stuff that we picked up about circuits and like press things so that it like they light up. I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of really way, cool ways that you can like make this better. Um, it was a little interesting trying to get it to fit me right at first. And I realized, oh, you should probably make one size smaller and then the other side larger so that it fits a normal arm. Yeah, be sure to arm. test a lot when you put these on because yeah. they have lots of different sizes here. And plus, those LEDs would be just as useful on your robot feet. Just yeah. because we don't have them there doesn't mean you can't do that yourself. Yeah, and you don't need to just make shoes or cuffs. You can make hats or you can make vests. Ooh, a vest would be really cool. Yeah. And then you could put your, a phone in one of those or maybe you can make an LC, take an LCD screen and program it. I think that this could be really, really fun. What's really cool about this project is that you can do really basic things, but you can also take it to crazy heights. Like there's a lot of wearable things that you can build into it or have things actuate based on motion if you wanted to. Yeah. Or you could just have simple robot feet and take over everything. Yeah, and my actually my favorite material for making is used in this, and it's actually the tape. The tape that we use to put these together, oh, yeah. that aluminum tape, is so useful in all types of making, especially props and in making clothes because you can put it on something to make it look like metal even if it's just made out of cardboard. It's so useful and it's really fun and easy to work with. Yeah, be sure to experiment and we'd love to see what you can put out there because upload the stuff to the Maker Camp community. I can't wait to see how many robots we'll see soon. Definitely. And remember, if these projects are too easy or too difficult, you can go to makercamp.com where we've got a whole bunch of projects to, that you can play around with. <sighs> well, okay, I'm getting kind of bored of taking over the world now as a super famous robot leg person. Yeah, world domination was so last season. It was easy. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ah! Well, campers, it's Monday, so we don't have a video of your projects to share. How dare you? I'm a little bit upset now. But we do have an extra special project video from a camper just like you. Oh, I'm slightly less upset now. Let's go out to a video from Camper Cadence. Thank you. 
Ah, Grace. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Yeah. You were just watch. How did you? You were get, just in the, the, the thing, and yeah. now you're here. But now you're here. Well, thank you so much for coming and making a really cool video. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. So, how did you get into making such awesome shirts? So I I've loved to make ever since I was younger, and I just um, like I figured out that you can turn something old into something new, and I've just gotten like ideas from different people everywhere, and you can turn an old T-shirt into a new T-shirt by I don't know like cutting it up and drawing designs on it, and I think that's really cool. Yeah, I always get bored with old clothes. I'm like I've worn the same thing ten times. It's not getting newer. So being able to refresh and recycle clothes, I think, is a really great idea. So is that shirt something you made too? Yeah, actually, I drew this, and what? I yeah, That's so wow. cool. That's Thank really you. Great. And I use a technique where you can um, either take a picture of the drawing, or you can scan it, and you can put it on a T-shirt using transfer paper. And all you have to do is print out the um, the image onto special paper, and then you can iron it onto the shirt. And that's what I did with this. Wow, it looks so good. I never would have thought that that you had drawn that and put it on. I thought it was just, because I know you have some cool stuff in the back, but I thought that that's awesome. Thank you. So how did you figure out how to do that? Um, so my drawing techniques come a lot from my art teacher, and so um, I've learned a lot from school and how to, the, pe the pencil techniques and how to shade and blend, and I've also figured out some stuff on my own um, using my, um, the colored pencils that I have and there's a lot of like techniques and tutorials that you can find elsewhere. Now I always find when I use colored pencils that they're so hard and that they like don't blend very easily. Do you use special colored pencils? Yeah, I actually use um, a brand called Prismacolor and they're really soft and they, they're great for blending and like shading and everything. That's a really great tip. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that you could, that there were so many different types of colored pencils. I just kind of grab whatever has the right color and just mush it into the paper <laughs> until it works. <laughs> well, that's amazing. So what else do you make? Um, I'm, I'm a visual artist, so I'm really into drawing and painting and working with um, lots of different materials. And I use, sometimes I use clay. I'm into arts and crafts and stuff. So I do origami sometimes and also um, like the t-shirt designs. And I also like to make stuff out of different articles of clothing. So what are some of the sources of your inspiration? Where, where do you get inspired to make things? Well, so if I have an idea and I don't know how to put it, like, to, and I don't know how to bring it to life, sometimes I go online and to look at tutorials of other people's, um, things that other people have made. And so that's um, a big part of where I get my inspiration from. Cool. And what are some of the harder parts of a process? I, I, I do a lot of art myself, and uh, what a lot of the campers out there would really like to know is, you know when there's a difficult part, how, how do you get through that? What do you personally do that helps you push through to get the job done? So this, th that ha actually happens to me a lot in my drawings and everything, and so what I usually do is I take a break and I look at some other people's drawings just to um, think about what I'm going to do next. And it, it really helps to just take a step back and look at it and think, what do you really want to do with this? And that helps me a lot when I'm going through a hard time in a project. That's a great tip. You know, sometimes yeah. you can be too close to a project and you can't see the, the thing that's wrong with it. I have that happen to me all the time. I'm working on something. I'm like, what is wrong with this? It's just not right. And I leave and, you know, go get some water and I come back and I go, oh, there it is. That's the thing I need to change. Exactly. So that's a, that's a good tip. So what are you going to make next? Actually, I'm off to make more t-shirts. Ooh, I'm really excited Ooh. to see that. That's awesome. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take a uh, Lombard, and then you go down, and then you turn on 19th. But I like to take some. OK. You know what? I got this. Wait. Wow. I mean, how is everyone else really good at that except you? OK, one time. I sent you to Detroit it's one gone for time. A week, an entire what? week. She one does time, it no Brent. problem whatsoever. You know what? It's the kids these days. They're just much better at magic. I guess so. Practice makes perfect. True. Well, that was certainly neat. And if you like what you saw here today, campers, be sure to upload your photos and videos to the Maker Camp community, where you too can become internet famous and travel across the country with gem sweaters. You can also leave your questions and comments for me, Paloma, a person who could cut down the mightiest tree in the forest with a herring. Be sure to use hashtag MakerCamp for your Google Plus to Twitter, Instagram, Graham Cracker, Cracker Jack, Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick, Jack Jumped Over the Candlestick. See you later, campers! <laughs>